today we're sadly leaving La Fortuna but we are heading to Monteverdi which is famous for its cloud forest so we've kind of treated ourselves today we're not getting a public bus we've paid for the jeep boat jeep experience so we get to well this is actually a shuttle bus but anyway we get a boat across the lake Aranau and hopefully we'll be able to see Aranau volcano because if you saw in our last vlog spoiler alert we didn't see it so yeah join us as we explore Monteverdi We have made it to Monteverdi. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a really nice temperature here actually. Yeah, a bit and cooler. Monteverdi translates to green mount, which makes sense because it is really hilly here and it is beautiful and green. We have booked to do the cloud forest tomorrow. So today we're just gonna explore Monteverdi and see what there is. Because like La Fortuna, nothing here is free. <laughs> but we found something cheap to do. Thank you. This trail is called Ficasla Rays. Probably butchered that pronunciation, but it's on private land. You pay a thousand colonies, which is about £1.50. And apparently there's this really cool tree down there. So let's go find it. Look at this tree. You know, I love a good tree. All I know is that tree over there has kind of made a bridge literally across to this side here. I would walk across it, but I have sandals on, so I don't think that's a good idea. But should we go down and take a look? I think it will look cooler down there. This is what you get when you're right in the clouds, drizzly rain and wind. Help. Help me. This is going to be our first taste of Costa Rican coffee. We've been depriving ourselves because it's quite expensive here. But those of us know that we love our coffee in Australia. It's very, very good. I don't really know anything about coffee, so I can't really give you much of a comparison, but it tastes really good. Because me and Lee like to be a bit crazy, <laughs> we're getting the first bus to the Monte Verde Cloud for us today. It's 6 a.m. and we've had no sleep because it was so windy last night. It was like 50 mile an hour winds and I felt like either a tree was gonna squish us or our tin roof was gonna fly off. But here we are, no sleep, about to explore the cloud forest. Cha -ching. Can you see the spray behind? I don't know whether you'll be able to see it on the camera but we are literally in a cloud right now. Whoa. Turns out we woke up at 5am for nothing because we stood in the wrong spot for the bus and we missed it. So now we have to wait over an hour for the next one. So instead of paying $10 for a taxi, because you know we're cheap, we've come for a coffee. So it's not all bad, is it, Lee? No. We were standing down that road there and Where the bus is. literally stopped here. And Lee ran? And he and drove off. <laughs> And we are finally in the cloud forest. Whoa. So it costs $26 each, and I think they might kind of allocate you a trail to start off with, so they kind of make sure it's not too busy. And this time we have come prepared. We have brought just a little monocular. monocular. <laughs> Try and see some wildlife. It is literally so green here. So the name Cloud Forest is literally what it says on the tin. It's where the forests are up in the mountains high enough so that the clouds meet them and only 1% of the world's forests are count as cloud forests. And this forest, another fun fact, has 2.5% of the world's biodiversity living Wild here. Life, then. Look how green this is. It's crazy. Beautiful. Everything's so wet as well. This is 
was just crazy, Lee. Honestly, it is unreal here. Like, walking through the clouds, getting dripped down by the rain. The colours are so vivid, it's like we're in Jurassic Park or something. I don't really think the camera's going to do it justice, but honestly, probably one of the like, most beautiful things I've seen in my life. What that's, that's deep, that is. It's deep. <laughs> <laughs> to the Monte Verde Cloud Reserve is because there's a hanging bridge here. There's only one. And if you want to go on any other hanging bridges, you have to pay like $50 to go on them. So we thought, you know, you get two and one here. This is insane. Literally got the clouds like coming over the bridge. A little bit wobbly, I tell you, yeah. but so cool. I would recommend coming to this one over the other one. I haven't been to the one, but. But this one you get This is bridge. worth it, I, yeah. I reckon. Two for the price of one, am I right? Even though, like I said earlier, there's two and a half percent of the world's biodiversity here, we haven't seen one animal. Well, we saw one bird flying, but nothing. So I'm kind of glad we didn't pay for a guide because I don't think they seem to be spotting anything either. Just lots of plants. I think some people do have success of it, but just... Yeah, but I don't think there's sloths here because they're too, too high, high up. up. Honestly, the cloud forest, insane. I'd say it's probably one of the best things that we've done in Costa Rica. I think the sloths in Puerto Viejo probably tops it for me. But if, you if you're coming to Costa Rica, definitely do it. One of the best things we've done. But we're up early tomorrow to catch our bus to our next location. So we'll see you then. Hola. Laura. Yeah. Lee. With me. Lee. Welcome, guys. So the main reason we came to Manuel Antonio is for the national park. It's supposed to be really good for wildlife and we've decided to pay for a guided tour. We haven't really done one in a national park yet so I thought we'd save it for now and not gonna lie, it's pretty busy but hopefully we see some good wildlife. Oh, I think I see it. What is it? Yeah. Maybe a lizard in the tree. Okay, uh, Manuel Antonio National Park was born 50 years ago, on November 15, 1972. So the aim of the game today is to spot as much wildlife as we can. Yeah. Our guide has one of the, um, what are they called? Binoculars. It's like a tripod binocular yeah. thing. So we're hoping we'll be able to see a lot more wildlife than when we did when we just did the National Park tour. Yeah, it's crazy. You're just walking around and then he's just like in the corner of his eye. There's a spider you know, or yeah. something like that. There's a lizard and it's literally blending in into the tree. Like, I don't know how he's spotting it. But yeah, very cool. Skills. Cool, thank, thank you. you. How many species of snake did you say there was? Uh, there are uh, 147. Wow. wow. Only 25 are dangerous. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, right there there's a sloth. Yeah. yeah. Remember, that one has two fingers on each hand and three fingers on each foot. Finally, after seeing so many sloths, they're all hiding, but this one we can see his face and he's smiling. So cute. If you're lucky enough to actually see a sloth moving or even on the ground, count yourself very lucky because apparently they only come down from the tree once a week to go to the toilet and they sleep for 18 hours a day. 
lazy little bears. <laughs> lazy little pellets or sauce. This is the spot to be. We have a sloth and it's baby chilling up in the tree having a little scratch and we're surrounded by white-faced howler monkeys. Look! Oh, it's got a little baby on its back. We've just stopped at this absolutely beautiful beach. So this is Manuel Antonio Beach, which is inside the national park. And look, it has to be the nicest beach we've seen in Costa Rica. Look how blue it is. But you do have to pay the national park entrance fee to get to this beach. Back at the bus station again. We're waiting for the bus for our last destination. We're going to Uvita, a cute little seaside town. But I tell you, this traveling life takes out you. Catching a bus every few days. Not as, young, not as young as we used to be. We've made it to Uvita and we're wasting no time at all because we are off to the beach for sunset. It's a bit cloudy, so hopefully we actually see the sunset. Yeah, I think we will. Nice. It's beautiful. It's not white sand. I think it's actually black sand. Not this bit, but up there it definitely is. Mm. So this is Uvita Beach. It's in the, what's the national park called? Parque Marino Bellina, I think. We'll go with that. So it's in the national park, so you do have to pay to come in here. It was $14 for both of us. And maybe we were a bit silly, I don't know, because it actually closes in an hour. But we thought it'd be nice to come here at sunset, because basically in this national park, there's this beautiful whale's tail that comes out of a sandbank and it's low tide now and it's sunset so we thought it'd be perfect time to come and see it. So we're walking there now. So we've made it to the tip of the beach. As you can see we have one beach here and one beach here and they meet in the middle and it is beautiful. It's a little bit moody and cloudy behind us but as it's low tide we can walk straight up the whale's tail which I think we're going to do now. We're just walking back down the whale's tail now and it is stunning. Like palm trees behind all the beach and you've got the mountains with the clouds it is all beautiful although it was a beautiful sunset it was about to get even better you can watch the full video of how it happens here <laughs> 